What's up guys? This is Richard again for another edition of Learning with Rich. So for today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to control the object visibility in Revit MEP. So in this exercise, I'm going to control the visibility of the elements using filters and creating a view template and applying the view template to the model. So the scenario is this. So I'm going to need to I'm going to de-emphasize the HBAC return and HBAC exhaust system of the office building and I'm going to emphasize the HBAC supply system. Okay? So de-emphasize the HBAC return and HBAC system and emphasize the HBAC supply system. So as you can see in this model Okay, so right now I'm on level 2 MEP all. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a filter. Okay, so I'm going to create a filter that will make, let's say for example, I want to change the color of my uh, supply system to color blue. And I'm going to change the color of my uh, return system to magenta. And for the exhaust, I'm going to change the color to color green. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a filter to do that. Okay, so first, I want you to take note of this one. So if I click here a dot, okay, you can check out the property. Okay, so as you can see, this is the property of the selected dock. So this is my instance property. So... On my mechanical uh, panel, on my mechanical parameters here. So, so what I'm going to do for my filter, I'm going to use one of the parameters here to create the filter. Like for example, I'm going to use the system classification of my uh, system here to create the filter. Okay, so like for example, for this selected duct, the system classification is supply air. So if I'm going to select this, so, as you can see, the system classification there is return air. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that parameter system classification to create the filter. Take note that you can also use other parameters from the properties of that selected element or uh, particular family. Okay, so to start creating a filter, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type VV, okay, Victor, Victor, or I can also select this, edit, okay, so I select this, and then after that, it will open the visibility graphic overrides of this level, the level 2 MEPO, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to select here the filters tab, and as I select the filters tab, there is no filter yet, that is applied in this view so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select here edit new if you know that you already have created a filter in the in a certain project you can check out here by selecting the add and then you will see here the list so right now I don't have any filter yet so what I'm going to do is I can select this or in case you did not select the add here I'm going to select edit new here Alright, so I'm going to select this and then to create a new filter, rule-based filter, so I'm going to select here new. Okay, so let's say I'm going to create filter for my supply, return, and exhaust. Alright, so let's say this is the filter for my supply system. And then I select OK. I'm going to select again the new. Oh, sorry. Okay, so I need to specify first the categories that I want to be included to this filter. So I'm going to finish first the, the this filter supply system. And then later I'm going to create another one. Okay, so I, uh, after you create the filter, so you need to select the categories that you want to be included to the system. Right, so like for example, I'm going to select here the dock, dock fittings, let's say I'm going to select all the docks here, 
except the DAC system. Okay, and then aside from that, I'm going to include here the Plex fi uh, pipes and Plex duct. Alright, so the next thing that you are going to do is you need to specify here the rule. So after selecting the categories that you want to be included to the filter, the next thing that you need to do is you need to select the filter rules. So filter by, so I'm going to click here the drop down arrow. And then I'm going to look for the system classification. So these are the parameters of the docs okay, that you can use to create your filter. So I'm going to use, like what I have said earlier, the system classification. Okay, so system classification, and then you can also, and aside from that, you need to select here. Like, for example, in my case, I want, the system classification that equals to supply air okay so meaning in this filter I want to select all of these categories okay that has a system classification that is equal to supply air okay so that's my first filter so I'm gonna select here apply so after that, I create a new one. So let's say this is my uh, return system. Okay, and then same procedure. I'm going to select here the dock, accessories, installations, linings, placeholders, docks. So as you can see, the reason why I am not selecting the systems here, if I click that, so you will notice the filters rule here will be very limited. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'll just uncheck this. So just to show you a lot of uh, parameters that you can use here. Okay. So I'm going to select again the system classification that is equal to this time. I'm going to change this to return air. All right. So return system filter. It will include these categories if the system classification is equal to return air. Alright, so next, for the last one, so I'm going to create exhaust system. Okay, and then same procedure. So I'm going to include here the dock. Okay, I select. And I need to include also the flex pipes and docks. Filter by the system classification that is equal to uh, exhaust air. Alright, and then apply. Okay, uh, let me just double check the return air, the return system. Did I include here the plex pipe and uh, okay, so I haven't included, so I just check and then apply. Okay, then after you create the filter that you want to use on the project that you're doing, so you just need to select here okay, and then after that, so as you can see, no filters have been applied to this view. So I'm going to select here add to select the filter. So I select these three filters, then OK. There you go. So let's say for example, oh, I want the supply system to be colored blue. So from the lines column here on the projection surface, so I'm going to change the override here. I click this. And change the color, I change to blue. And then OK. There you go. You can also change here the pattern if you want. Okay, but no need for me to change. I just want to change the color to blue. Okay, so same with the return system. So I just want to change the line, not the pattern itself. Okay, so I just change the line, the edges. Okay, so return system. So let's say... Uh, I want that uh, magenta, okay, and then for the exhaust, I want that to be colored green, so I select green, okay, okay, there you go, then after that, I select here, okay, and boom, so there you go, so that's how you create filter, okay, so by doing that, you will understand more how the system works on your project okay
So the color blue is your system, uh, your supply, magenta is your return, the color green is the exhaust. So in case you want to include, let's say for example, your air terminal. So if I click this air terminal, as you can see, it's also supply air. Okay, but why is it, it doesn't change to color blue? So the reason why is that you didn't include that to the category of the filters of the supply system filter. So if you want also the air terminals to be colored, so you just go back to the visibility graphic overrides. You go to filter, just edit the filter. So let's say the supply system. So I click the supply system, just check the air terminals, apply. Let's say the exhaust also, you can check the air terminals, apply, and return system. Okay, so air terminals, apply, then okay. And then select okay again, and it should be fine now. So see, there's a color already. Okay, so this is one way of controlling the visibility of the object visibility of your model. Okay, so right after learning how to create the filter, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to set up now my view. So like what I have said earlier, in this view, I want to emphasize the supply system. Oh, sorry. Okay, I want to emphasize the supply system and de-emphasize the return and exhaust air. Okay, so by doing that, first I'm going to turn off the lighting fixtures here. So I'm going to open the visibility graphic overrides. And then I turn off the lighting fixtures. Ah, turn on, sorry, turn on. I'm going to turn on. Why? Because the name of my view here is level 2 MEP all. So I want to include also the lighting fixtures aside from the layout, the ACMB. Okay, so there's now my lighting fixtures. So it now conforms with the level 2 MEP all. Okay, so you have electrical as well as your ACMB. Okay, so after that, I'm going to duplicate now the level 2 MEP all. So I just duplicate this, right click. So let's say if I if you want to include the detailing, so you can select detailing. So duplicate with detailing and then I just change the name. So I change the name to, uh, let's say this is my level 2 MEP supply. Okay, so level 2 MEP supply. Okay, because in this view, I want to highlight the supply. Okay, I want to de-emphasize the return and exhaust. So since I already named it level 2 MEP supply, so this time I'm now going to turn off the lighting fixtures. So I turn it on in this view because I, say, I said it all, right? So I want to include the lighting. Now, I just called it supply. So, when I duplicate this, I call it supply. So, I do not want to see any electrical here. Okay, I only want um, mechanical, my ACMB or HBAC. So, I'm going to turn off again the lighting fixture. Okay, and then... After that, I'm going to turn off also the annotations. So annotations, so just uncheck, then OK. Alright, OK. So now it's level 2 MEP supply. So I want to highlight the supply here, de-emphasize the exhaust, de-emphasize the return. OK, so to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a view template. So to create a view template, so I'm going to right click the level 2 MEP supply. So I right click this. And then there's the tool here or the option uh, create view template from view. So I'm going to select this. Okay, and then I'm going to call this uh, MEP supply. Okay, so MEP supply. So this is now my view template. So the reason why I created the view template so that in case I want to create another 
view for level 1, let's say I create another view, I call it level 1 MEP supply, okay? So I just need to apply this view template to this view. So no need for me to redo the whole process of uh, modifying the view like what I am doing right now on level 2 MEP supply. So that is why I'm creating a view template. So in this view template, so what I'm going to do is from the view properties, I'm going to select here VG overrides filter. Okay, so this is the visibility graphic overrides filter for the template. So what I'm going to do is, since this is supply, so for the returns, I'm going to make it half tone. So same with my exhaust system. So half tone also. Apply. Okay. So it's now applied to this template. So I'm going to select OK. Then after that, I'm going to apply it here. So right click. So apply template properties. So I can now select here the template that I created. Then OK. There you go. So as you can see, the magenta and color green is now half tone. So that's why you are able to see the color blue layout uh, much better. Okay, so what's the use of view template? So let's say I created here the level 1. Okay, so I duplicate with detailing again and then I just change the name to level 1 MEP supply. Okay. So all I have to do is I just need to right click this and then apply again the view template. So no need for me to open the visibility graphic overrides, turn off the lighting fixtures, apply filter. Okay, so since I already got it from the settings of this view, so I just need to apply it here because I already created the filter. So right click, apply template properties, I just select MEP supply, and then OK. There you go. Okay. So that's how you use your filter and then the view template to control the object visibility of your model. So hopefully you learned something from this video. So if you have any questions, if you have any comments, suggestions, you can put it on the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So once again, until then, take care.